Hi there, I'm Dan Martell, technology entrepreneur, investor, and creator of SaaS Academy. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you a strategy for using Facebook custom audiences to make your marketing cheaper, really reduce your costs. It's amazing, be sure to stay to the end. We're also, I'm gonna share a resource called the Churn Buster Cheat Sheet that's gonna allow you to implement the nine different tools to reduce your churn in your SaaS business if you're struggling with that today. Maybe you're running Facebook ads today and it is not performing at all. You hear people getting, you know, 50 cent leads, dollar leads, two dollar leads. You're like, yes, please, all day long. I would love that. But your experience is more like $35 leads and you're like, oh, Facebook does not work for B2B SaaS. Let me tell you one thing. It absolutely does work for you. I have many of my clients that have executed Facebook campaigns. The challenge is, is you need to understand how to create the structure. And at a high level, and I learned this while I was building up my company, Clarity. So we were a marketplace that allowed entrepreneurs to get advice over the phone and Facebook was a primary channel for us. And at first it didn't work. We ran into all the challenges. And the biggest one is we were trying to run cold traffic to a purchase, to an, an action to, to, to book a call. And what I'm gonna walk you through is the thinking behind Facebook that, that changes everything when you start thinking of it as a funnel and a remarketing campaign, that's the big change. And I'm gonna walk you through the specific audiences that you should be building within your business to reduce and improve your conversions, reduce your costs, improve your conversions for your Facebook campaigns. One, define your target. Now, as you start with Facebook, the beauty and the challenge is that it's got so many different data points. You can essentially, and people are like, well, B2B doesn't work for Facebook. It's more for social and consumer stuff. Not true. You can focus on roles and titles of specific people in an organization. You can focus on interests that are specific to your business customer. You can focus on B2B as an interest category at a high level. They have over 70,000 data points that they can use to match those target audiences. But the first thing is, you need to know for yourself who do you serve. I, you know, I trust me. I talk to dozens of new SaaS founders every week, and one of the three questions asked is, "What problem do you solve? Who do you solve it for? And how do you solve it?" And when we get to the who, I can I can already tell the the the, the companies that are struggling because they don't know who they serve. It's everybody, small businesses, small businesses. Period. No vertical, no revenue range, no specific role at a company, et cetera. You need to go niche. You need to focus on who exactly you serve and figure that out from a Facebook targeting point of view so you can at least at a high level as you're building this funnel, start focusing on that cold traffic. So that's, that's one, is you need to know your target audience. Two, brand awareness campaigns. So one of the fun things that I love about Facebook is running campaigns just for brand awareness. So you, here's the easiest thing you could do is take your five top blog posts specifically that would attract your ideal customer. Don't, don't just grab your most popular because you have some viral posts that went on. Think about the ones that your top customers would wanna consume. And then just run Facebook ads and put those out to the world. There's no call to action, no CTA, no link, no nothing. It's just pure value. And I do this with my YouTube videos. Essentially, I'll run them on Facebook for pure value, consume the videos. I, run, I spend that marketing dollar to get, high, um, to get as many views for as cheap as possible, so the cheapest CPMs. And then what I do is I use that to create my second level audiences. So if you have content, you can track if they clicked and they interacted with it or watched the video more than a certain percentage. So anybody watched a certain video for more than 50%, that tells me they're an ideal customer for my business or you can do the same thing for your product. Number three, retarget specific pages. If you've got your SaaS site designed properly, and I have this whole framework on what makes a perfect SaaS site, I've analyzed over 1,200 different B2B SaaS companies. At the end of the day, you can um, tag a visitor to those specific pages. The one that's a no-brainer that tells you somebody's in market is if they visit their pr your pricing page. If they visit your pricing page, you should have a separate set of ads specifically speaking to that customer because it tells you they're in market. So think about your site. 
And if somebody was on a page, if, the, if, if your site was like a physical retail space and you had different rooms, and you had like the pricing room, you had the, the features room, you had the blog room, you had the about room, and you were in there, what would you want to uh, ask the person in that room? What would you want the conversation to look like? What do you think you would need to do to guide that person into the checkout room to buy your product? That's the way I think about um, tagging and creating uh, audiences for just the people that visit certain pages like the pricing page. Four, emails. Now one of the coolest features about Facebook, if you didn't know that, is that you can upload a list of emails and use that. Facebook's going to do all its magic wizardry and you can use that to target ads to just people on that email list. And the cool part, if you didn't know this, is you can actually buy lists of companies in your space. Now, you know, a lot of people argue the data quality and many of them are not great. You can build your own list using a scraper, or hiring some interns or people overseas that go through Google, you know, whatever, and just finds the emails and build your own list, but you can still upload them to Facebook to create these audiences. The other ones is lead magnets. So as people, you know, you run some ads against the lead magnet, they download it, that's a converted email. Take that email and put it in a different list to run kind of what would be next. If I have a lead magnet on this topic, what's my next ad? And you create kind of a virtual funnel using Facebook. And then finally, it's just people in your trial. If somebody's in a trial, they have a different set of information. You can actually like talk about specific features, you can talk about hot buttons, you can do case studies, all in ad format on Facebook to the users and only to them, so very cheap, inexpensive on Facebook. Super powerful using the emails, you upload them, you create those lists and you can target different ad campaigns specifically to those people. Five best customers. Now, this is the, the ninja strategy. If you have, you know, ideally at least a couple hundred best customers. So if you have a thousand customers but you know 20% of them are incredible. These are people that bought fast, they had the need, they, the product, they got it, it, it clicked. Um, and they spent the most money. You grab just your best customers, a couple hundred emails, ideally 500 if you got them. Upload those up into Facebook and then Facebook will allow you to do a thing called a lookalike audience. And you can do a lookalike audience on all of these campaigns and targeting that I've mentioned so far, which will tell Facebook to go out there, here's the pool of people, go out there and find other people that look like them from a, you know, many different, you know, firmographic, demographic, psychographic, likes, interests, et cetera. Again, 70,000 data points. They can do their, their math and figure out how to make that happen. But what's cool is you can optimize for different things, engagement, conversions, et cetera. So you put it on Facebook to go find other people, but just your best customers. So this is just like a no brainer. Not a lot of people are doing it. They could really help you attract very qualified people. Um, uh, for inexpensive cost because you're being very deliberate and focused on who you want to attract. So set that up for your best customers. So quick recaps. One, you want to define your target audience. Two, you want to set up some brand awareness campaigns. Three, retarget the specific pages on your site. Four, emails and then five best customers. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I wanna share an incredible resource called the Churn Buster Cheat Sheet. It goes over the nine different uh, tools that you need to start instrumenting and implementing in your business to reduce your churn. I know everybody wants to talk about top of funnel, uh, you know, revenue and growth and all that fun stuff, but if you're in the SaaS business, you know that churn is the ultimate number. That churn percentage is the thing that's gonna slow you down from growing because you gotta keep adding new customers on a monthly basis just to deal with the ones that you lost. So download by clicking the link below this video, the Churn Buster Cheat Sheet to help you with that. If you like this video, be sure to click the link or the like button right below here. Uh, share it with somebody that you uh, care about that you think it could serve and be sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. It's true, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's yeah. all these real estate agents, their photos are 15 years old. Yeah. It's like, oh, wow. Oh, hey.